Okay, so the sun has come out. And when the sun comes out, the water gets calm. And I thought I'd take you in this little cove. I've never gone in here. This is um, just before the big bay. And it's kind of like going in a, sw a small world. So here we go. It's kind of like we're at Disneyland. We're going in this little... This is how cool this is. I love my cove. You know, it's, it's a lot bigger than this. And this is kind of tight. But it's time to discover what I haven't discovered. I finished doing our weekly reading and it's uploading right now and it, it talked about opportunities coming and opportunities for new new excitement and adventure. <laughs> so I was going by yesterday, um, I buy this little cove and I thought I've never been in here before, I should go the next time I go out. And it was pretty choppy on the lake so I thought I'd go down in here. And uh, so this is my little adventure because that's what we're supposed to do is explore and go on new adventures that um, present themselves to you. I can't see what you guys are saying. There's a big bird over on the water. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can slide up to him. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more quiet this time. I'm so loud, you know? It's so funny when I do this, um, when I have my earbuds in, it's so funny when I, when I videotape this thing, I always think I gotta talk louder when I look at the comments. I don't know what the heck that is. Anyway, it's a giant blue heron and he's gonna jump. Let's see if he comes out of the water. He's incredible. He's in the reeds over there. Oh, he's so pretty. He's looking up. He's like, I don't know. What should I do? Should I go or should I? Can, does she see me? I see you, mister. Come on, are you gonna show us your pretty wings? He will if I go up. Is it mean for me to go up? Is it mean? <laughs> I want you to see him. Oh, okay, I won't disturb you. I won't disturb you. I won't be so mean. It's okay. You just wanna be left alone? Oh, he's so pretty. He's a big boy. If you're gonna fly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did you hear him honking? He's like, wah, wah. oh, and there's another one down there. Okay, we're going forward. We're gonna go. So here we are. I don't know what this cove is called. I live in Big Bass Cove, and this one is something else, and I've never. I ride my bike around the neighborhood and I and I imagine you know where I'm at. I look there's a there's a there's a dirt lot up here that I ride my bike around. And now I know what it looks like down on the inside. This is super cool. Um Okay, hold on. Look at that. Walk out of the back of your house and go down the steps and go into a lake. Isn't this cool? Oh look. Look up there. Great white heron. I'm never gonna get tired of this. I know I show you guys this all the time, but isn't this cool in here? I don't know how I would feel about being in such a small cove, though, because everybody's kind of like in their business, right? Everybody sees what they're doing. I kind of like a little bit more privacy. Oh, I gotta show you when we get up ahead. There's a um, there's a tree up there, and the giant white herons are sitting at the top of the tree. It's so cool. They're such big birds. And we're gonna go by. This is so cool, this is like, um, I'm on the, what is it? Lion Country, not Lion Country Safari, is that what it's called? The Safari Adventure, you know, at Disneyland? That's what we're on. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking loving this. What an awesome afternoon. It was totally windy when I was doing my weekly reading. It was super, super windy. And I was like, oh, I can't get on the lake. I wanted to get on the lake. And look how glassy it is in here. Late afternoon is like the bomb. It's kind of like at the river, you know, we used to go, this is like the perfect time for taking pictures too. And the one that Mr. Heron that I scared away a minute ago, well, I annoyed, now he's over here. <laughs> he's thinking, lady, leave me alone. I'm not coming after you. Isn't that pretty, that little setting that he's in? It's okay, mister, we're gonna go by. But look at that tree up there. It's filled with um, snowy egrets. That's what's, look at them all up there. Can you see them? It's so cool. It looks like little snowballs. There's one tree. Oh, and there's a swallow. Oh, spring is here, spring. See, I didn't bug you. I didn't bug you. He's not, not trusting me. You can trust us. We're just gonna drive by you. Just showing everybody. Look, this is it from the back view. See, we didn't disturb his slumber. Man, he's tall. I bet if I got up close to him, he's about four feet tall. Okay, I'm gonna put you between my knees the right way. Who's talking? Let me see. 
but that happens if we learn to watch for them. Wahoo, yeah. <laughs> Gina, come on Summer, I'm so jealous. Oh, that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. That's why, because people who don't have this need to have this, right? I appreciate this, that nothing, I take nothing for granted. I'm, I'm in love with everything that I see and I, and, I, and I love to share it with everybody. So, okay, I'm gonna put you between my knees and I'm gonna get you up close to this, um, to this big tree. It's so cool. It's just weird for me. I mean, I, clearly they're birds and you see them flying, you know. God, there's so many great blue herons in here. But you see them flying across the sky, but for some reason it looks strange to me when they perch up on top of a, of a tree. You, you know, you look, and you're used to seeing like a crow or a robin or, you know, a woodpecker or something in a tree. But you don't think that you're gonna see like a four foot bird perched up in a tree, never mind 15 of them. Right now, it's, um, they're a little bit sheltered, but when the sun comes out, you'll be able to see them better. Can you see them? I'm gonna put this up. It's that tree up there. Let me get close, right when I go to turn around. Okay, so this, this is better in here. Like, I could handle this, I suppose. This is not too close, but down there at the end, it's like, yeah, no. Look at it from behind. We're so lucky that in the afternoon that the sun um, came up below the clouds because when it was behind the clouds, it was cold. Look, I'm wearing a sweater. I, I could actually, if I was out there, I could take it off. But we have a job. We have a job to do. Okay, so. Am I the only one who thinks it's really weird that nobody's out here? Like, why are none of these people out here? They have this and they're not using it. This is like... This is my backyard. I'm out every single day in this. I don't understand how all these people have this incredible, like, little oasis back here, and they're not down here. Not one person is down here, except for me. Okay, so the people that own that tree, I think, are really lucky. They complain. Um, the people that own the big tree that has all the vultures in it, they complain too, but... That's the tree. It's completely loaded with white herons and, and snowy egrets. Huge. I mean, they're like, some of them are the smaller snowy egrets, which are only like a foot and a half tall, but some of them are like three feet tall, four feet tall. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> See? See the one going up? They're all hanging out in that tree. Listen to the noise they make. Oh, there's a fight. There's a fight. Oh, I hope somebody's not taking somebody's baby eggs. I'm probably just squabbling over who gets that branch. I've never heard them talking, actually. It's a crow. Is that a crow up there bugging them? It's always the crows. <laughs> They're always in the way. Hold on. I'm going to turn this around. I was wondering if you guys would even want me to do this. And I was wondering if you'd get bored with me doing this. And then I thought, no, I'll just go ahead and look what you've got to see. That incredible, that incredible blue heron fly above us. And then there's a little baby. See, that's a little snowy egret. So some of them are about that size and others are like the one that you saw that went above us. I wanna know what's going on. Maybe they're mating. Oh my gosh, that was one of the messages we got today was the whooping crane which is kind of like these giant blue herons and it's talking about courtship and mating. Oh, I bet that's what's going on because they're making a really cool sound. It's kind of like there's a guy up there saying, Brrr, or maybe the girl's flirting with the guy and the, they're squabbling over who's going to get her. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Check it out. That's what it is. It's Can you, you can't see. I bet to you it just looks like white spots in the tree. If I could count. Oh my God, there's so many. Every little spot that looks like a piece of white cloud is actually a bird. I'm telling you, there it's filled. That's incredible. And I think down here I saw another giant heron at the other end. There's some little kids. My, my, I lived here my, when my kids were little. Oh my God, they go freaking mental. They'd be out on this canoe 24-7. Seriously. Pretty, hey? I don't know where that other heron went. He's hiding out. Let's turn this around.
I wish I had music for you guys that I could accompany the recording with. <laughs> Oh, that one's a pretty one. Is that a high pitch? All the different bird sounds. I bet Uncle Phil would know what they are. So there's some guy who's horning in on some other guy's girl up there, and he's not happy. Okay, now that the sun is over there, can you see them? I'm gonna look at this later and think, God, why'd you spend so much time for looking up to the sky? But can you look at them all in the branches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh god, there's so many. Incredible. Okay. This one's gonna join. I don't know, maybe he's going too high. Let's see. Oh, that's an os that looks like an osprey. Oh my god! An osprey. He's not gonna join them, no way. Oh my gosh, the osprey is the most incredible bird. It's the diving hawk. It's like, oh! It's my, oh, I won't tell you. You guys get so sick of hearing it. He's incredible though. Look it up, the osprey. Anybody else say anything? What else are we saying? Can we see? Can see the white. Oh, you can? Super cool. We don't need music, Shuri. The water, okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> okay. This is a good idea. my canoe. Whoa, did you see that? A fish jumped about two feet out of the water over there. I probably wasn't facing in the right direction. Wow. I hope when I leave here I go somewhere else that I'm going to be able to use this canoe. Because I would really miss this. You know, I talk about Sedona all the time, but and I do love it, but gosh, I love the water. It's amazing. The lake, the lake is different than the ocean. I like the lake. I like the river. Oh, gosh. Look at the clouds, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? I watched these idiots painting in the sky yesterday with the chemtrails. It was horrible. It was blue sky and I watched them go all over the place. Like that one up there. That's the only one I see today. Because if it's cloudy on its own, they're like, okay, we'll leave the weather. Otherwise, they're going to join. They're going to join that tree. God, there's going to be like 50 of them in that tree by the time the evening comes. I'd like to see what would happen if they all took off at once. That'd be super cool. here again. Every day, Mr. Mallard, he escorts me every single day. Oh my gosh. And he's always alone. He's always with me. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, the heron is right there. moving up ahead. He just never really leaves.
I want you to see Mr. Mallard up close. I'm only going to take us to the mouth of the little opening here and then I'm going to sign off. Hi, Mr. Mallard. Hi. That's my little sentinel, my little guard. He's always with me. You guys have noticed this, but he's with me in every bike ride that I go on, every reading I go on. There's one soul mallard always with me. Hi. Oh, there he goes. Dog scared him. Isn't that pretty? And look at him and the dog over there. Oh, gosh. How majestic. Okay, so the dog's saying pay attention. Protection. It's okay. Look at his blue feathers. They're like a blue dress he's wearing. Gosh, he's beautiful. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Heron. Hey, puppy. So the dog scared away Mr. Mallard. Okay, that makes sense to me. That's why we're in here, because that boat is going to make it rough for me to row. Okay. I think we're pretty much done. That's where I go bike riding, and I come to the top of that little crest, and I want this property. How about that? <laughs> How about that, universe? Give me this property. Wow! That would be pretty cool. be neat because you could have the house up top where you'd get the view and then down below I'd just do a flat grass lawn and the hill covered with with um, flowering shrubs and then I'd have that dock actually the dock would probably be right there we're supposed to dream big right that works for me <laughs> I'll move out of my house if I can have that I was gonna live in, in there those were um, one and two bedroom places. But they're really expensive and they're inside this kind of senior gated community. Well, it used to be a senior community, but look at, wouldn't that one be awesome? And the house next door is insane. Actually, I'll let you guys see it because it's, it's like off the hook. Actually, he owns both these properties because that's the dock house. That gate's already there and this is the dock and there's a boat here so he must own that property and they're just keeping it or whoever owns this property hasn't developed it yet and they keep their boat here oh it's probably this guy though god look at that place now see that birdhouse i would have that where i could see it where i could see all the birds visiting it and what's interesting is it's in on the other property. So yeah, this guy that owns this incredible house, he owns that property too. Wow. Probably not selling because waiting for all the market to go way up. Look at that. Look at that gazebo. That <laughs> You call that a gazebo? Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Let's go around the front. You know what? I want this. I want this. If this is loose, I'm gonna take it home. Oh my God, it is. Right on, check it out. <laughs> right on, yay. I love this, I love these. And I and it's hard to get it out of the water. And here it is, it's got roots and everything. It just would have died there, so I'm gonna plant it. Right on, thank you, universe. I've got the perfect pot for it. You guys will see it in one of my readings. I wonder how come it got tore out like that? Replanting, so, replanting, new growth, replanting. Oh, wait till we get around this corner. The sunlight's gonna be just perfect. I'll probably just get back to inside my cove with the sun with me still. I usually go the other way. Here comes the paddle boarders. Cool. Okay, let's look at this incredible place. This is like a house you'd see in Miami. <laughs> 
except for you don't have the humidity and all of the drugs and all of the congestion and all of the any of it. I'd rather have it here, right where it's at. Look at those palm trees. Okay, hold on. When I get around the corner, I'll let you guys look at it and then I'm gonna say peace out. I'm so stoked about this plant, I can't even stand it. I had one in my house in Canada. I had ponds in my yard. Everywhere I made ponds and I used to go down to the creeks and stuff and, you know, find little pieces of plant and replant them. And this is one of the ones I had. God, this place, look at this place. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> How'd you like to get married right there? Have a party there, reception. Wow. Look at the palm trees, those potted plants. The place is incredible. Okay, see the, I don't know if you guys can see it, but at the top of the house, uh, going up the stairs to the left, there's a birdhouse right by those palms, and it's just like that birdhouse that's on the empty property. So yes, this guy owns that property. Wow. Pretty beautiful. Say goodbye, here comes the paddle boarders. Say goodbye to the sun. See ya. Anybody saying anything you want me to answer? Okay, talk to you later. Bye.